Hey guys, Monty here. Today's video, I just wanted to go over the new uh, BIOS update for the ASUS uh, ROG Maximus 12 Hero, the Wi-Fi version of the motherboard uh, for the Z490. Um, so I have an Intel 10900K, as you guys might may or may not know. I'm currently overclocked to 5.2 gigahertz, as you're able to see here. Uh, I'm at 1.3, I think I'm at 1.32 volts. I might be 1.315. I'll have to check it. Anyways, uh, there's a new BIOS update out, and it says uh, this is version 2004. It's a beta version. came out, I don't know, about 10 days ago. Supports uh, 11th gen Intel Core processors. I probably won't be putting it, if, if, I, if, I, if I get the 11900K, which I don't think I will, but if I do get it, I'm not getting, uh, I'm not using this board. I'll just be probably upgrading anyways. Uh, anyways, uh, improve uh, resizable bar compatibility. Um, I don't even know a whole lot about about resizable bar, but let's Google it. All right, so here's Nvidia. I know they said something about it increases performance um, with the uh, the graphics card, but uh, uh, yeah, resizable bar is optional. PCI Express interface technology as you move through a world and game GPU memory. So is this like a unified memory with uh, with uh, Mac? Is that what it is? Use resizable assets can be instead be requested as needed and sent in full, so CPU can efficiently. So is it from memory to memory and skipping the CPU maybe? Concurrently rather than queuing. Okay. All right. Well, both Intel will support resizable bar starting with the release in the coming weeks. For desktop systems, get you'll need a graphics card, motherboard, graphics card driver that support it. New RTX graphics cards starting with the 36 you'll have support. Okay. BIOS updates starting at. Oh, okay. So it says right here, keyword. It says, uh, uh, NVIDIA and our GP partners. So I have UGA. We're also readying V BIOS updates for existing RTX 30, 3000 series graphics cards starting in March. Okay, so the main takeaway from Resizable Bar, this feature can give gamers an extra boost in gameplay FPS on Intel's new and select 10th gen systems when paired with support. Okay, so more, more FPS essentially, right? So anyways, go down here to BIOS update, right? And we're gonna go to BIOS. I'm gonna go to the latest one because I'm like a crazy person, okay? So... All right, version 2004, expand all. all right, we're gonna download that. I'm just gonna right click the zip file that I just downloaded, I'm gonna hit extract here. Yeah, the easy part's done. Now the next part that's gonna be interesting is going to be copying all your settings down. And this is where I think like using your phone camera, like using your phone right here to record your BIOS settings, like make a little video, right? That's what I do. It's because it makes it a lot easier for me. So I'm on actually BIOS version 1002. So I'm at the, the, the latest one, right? So here's what I like doing. I know it's a little goofy, but I make a video of this whole BIOS, right? So I know exactly what all my settings were. And another thing I could probably do, which probably wouldn't want to do, but we'll just do it anyways. User profile. If I want to save profile to, I don't know, say like my drive, Save up to, we're just gonna put stable, 5.2. So I'm gonna save a, a BIOS setting straight to an external um, S, external um, thumb drive. So now I have my profile saved. So if I ever need to load this for whatever reason, I can do that. But anyways, let's get back. We'll go back to main, okay? So I'm at 1002 BIOS, uh, this is from uh, 11, 26, 2020. Okay, so now that we have that, uh, we have our latest BIOS. Well, technically it's the beta, right? So anyways, so I'll take my phone back here and I'm gonna record my settings. It's because I wanna make sure I got everything saved. There you go. Right, so I do got everything saved. We can do the easy flash. Uh, so I'm just gonna go to my drive that I have it on. It's on this one. Got to see users. We're gonna home. Where I save. All right, so there's my uh, there's my setting right there. All right, so now we're reading the uh, latest BIOS, the 2004. We're just gonna go ahead and nuke it, and I'm not really too concerned about it. If the you know if the motherboard dies, actually, it would suck. But like you see my hand, I'm not really shaking. Like it's okay. I let it do its thing. Whatever. Uh, 
you know, if you live in a different country and the power is an issue, yeah, I'd worry about it then. But uh, I have a UPS here, and the chances of this all dying, slim to none. Yeah, and it's under warranty. You know, I, don't, I try not to overthink it or, or stress out about it, you know. So now it is, you know, obviously a good thing. If you don't have any problems with your BIOS, I wouldn't say like go out of your way and update it, but I like having access to the new, to the latest features and, and, and the most performance that I can get squeezed out of this. So for me, I'm a little fearless. I'll just go ahead and install it. Yeah, it looks like it's wrapping up. Update successful. System will be reset. I'll just hit OK. OK, so Intel ME management engine is updating. OK, so it looks like there's some CPU updates, um, you know, microcode update probably uh, for the processor. So I'll let that go through. And typically, whenever you get a BIOS update, this usually includes this. So, hey, there we go. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and hit F3 for the unlock limits increased in performance. doesn't really matter because I'm going to be setting all the settings anyways. I'm going to walk you guys through all this. This is the exact same settings that I'm going to be using. Um, I'm going to test it in Cinebench right afterwards. You're going to see the whole gist of it, okay? So system date, yeah, none of that changed. We're going to go to Extreme Tweaker. We're going to Manual. All right, Asus Multi-Core Enhancement. Okay, SVID. AVX is zero. That looks like that changed user specify. Okay, that wasn't like that before, but that's fine. I'm at zero on that. All right, we're gonna go down to core ratio, sync all cores. We're going to go to all core limit. We're gonna go to 5.2 for 52. Block that was on auto. Okay. SFID support, DRAM. For some reason it shows 15, it's timing 16. Maybe it would run at 16 or 15. 16, 16, 36. Okay, that looks good. DGVRM, load line, I'm at six. Everything else, don't worry about that. Internal CPU power management. Again, any of this, don't have to worry about that. Ring down bin enabled. We're at 49, remember on both. All right, we're going too fast. 49, 49. Block aware, adaptive voltage. I have that set at disabled. CPU core, that is at 1.32. Remember, that's in a manual override. 1.320, DRAM is at 1.35 voltage. Well, we don't want to do two. <laughs> That'll kill it. VCCIO, system agent. Well, I'm keep going crazy. Okay, let's go back. Okay, we had a battery die in the middle of that. Now we're back. 3.2 on the CPU core voltage. Uh, manual set 1.35 on DRAM. Okay. All right, so look, we look good right here. DRAM frequency. We are going to... I'm at 3,600 megahertz on my RAM, so that's what I'll go to. We're going to go back to platform. I'm just going to go through here, just make sure I got everything set correctly. CPU, we're gonna go to power management control. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off C states. That's just power saving, that's really all that is. System agent. Okay, PCI Express. I don't really mess with this, I just leave it on auto. HCI, that's set, enabled. And all of my SATA ports are enabled. Thunderbolt port. I don't I don't use Thunderbolt on here. Okay, so resize bar support. To enable resize bar support for harnessing full GPU memory, please go to the boot section to disable compatibility support module. We'll leave that on auto. Why not? Don't think it's going to do anything for us, but make sure we turn off CS. Uh, 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 what was that again? Compatibility support module. Make sure we turn that off. Well, we'll turn that off.
I'm just going through some settings real quick. Again, for the resize bar support, I put that on auto. It's probably not going to work right now anyways, but I put that on auto. It said to turn CSM off. Got CSM turned off. I'll go back. Okay, HD audio. I have that on. I don't use the Marvel 5G. I don't have anything 5G, uh, 5 gigabits, so I don't use that. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, I disabled that. I turn the Aura off. Q load. I just keep that on auto. Everything else, auto's fine. Monitor, temps are really low as you're able to see, so leave that. I do turn all of this Q fan off. Make sure I got all that off. Okay, key fan, key fan, key fan disabled. Okay, this is exactly the same exact settings that I'm using that I was using previously. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to save this as the profile name, 5.2, uh, latest by us. Just save that to profile one. All right, so now we're going to exit. So as you can see here, I'm changing a lot of stuff, right? Lots and lots of goodies. The main one, again, not going to notice a difference on it probably. Resize bar support, I'm just turning that on auto. So once all that's done, I'll go ahead and hit OK. Computer's going to shut off. It'll reboot a couple times, and we'll be back in Windows. Then I can run a Cinebench test for you guys. You guys were able to see exactly the settings that I just set in my BIOS for my 5.2 gigahertz overclock. Again, really easy. None of it's hard uh, for those that are watching. And this is just how I roll with, with the setup that I got. So... All right, so I'm on, I am on Windows now, 5.2 gigahertz. The bar support, again, I probably can't, can't see it. I'm at 5.2, as you're able to see. All right, memory, 3600, 16, 16, 36. All right, so let me run a Cinebench. I don't have anything else running in the background. I got everything disabled. Run a Cinebench, see what I get. This is Cinebench R20. This is live, none of it's fake, none of it's screenshotted. It's all legit. I typically get anywhere between 66 to 6800. So you can see my last score was 6758 right here. So again, not too bad. Obviously, you can get a higher score if you have an AMD, which I'd love to go AMD, but you know. Considering what I have now, there's it's not a big of enough upgrade for me to do that. So, but all right, so four points less than the last time. <laughs> it's really funny, sixty-seven fifty-four. So you just seen me go from BIOS update, set all the BIOS settings. Go in Cinebench, load up Cinebench. I'm getting 67.54, so it's not terrible. That's good enough. This is what the latest uh, the latest BIOS update. I just wanted to demonstrate uh, installing the BIOS update for you guys. You guys were able to see it. Uh, how easy it is to really do an overclock. And for shits and giggles, we'll do another run. Why not? I don't have anything else open in the computer besides what it is. So this is the second run. Well, I have you here. This is probably going to affect my score a little, but we'll do it anyways. 
load up hardware uh, info 64 we'll get our current temperature we'll get our current voltage everything okay Now, opening that program up while I was running this probably messed up my score, but we'll see what it is anyways. Oh, scary number. <laughs> All right, so opening the program while I was doing it, uh, opening the pro opening hardware info gave me a 6666 score. So it's kind of scary, but uh, if we were to look at some of the temperatures, I could show you real quick. Effective clock on all cores, 5.2 gigahertz. Okay, down here, this, this core clock, 5.2, all cores, 1.36. 1.36, uh, go down, 5.2, core ratio, 5.2. CPU temperatures, 0 to 9 core. 69, 68, 73, 71, 74, 71, 74, 72, 68, 69. So thermal throttling, no thermal throttling, no power limit exceeded, no critical temperatures. Package ring, thermal throttling, no. Critical temperature, no. The max it shows for my CPU package, 74 Celsius. So at a 5.2 gigahertz, guys, all cores. CPU power package, max draw, 233 watts. That's about right. Okay. Yeah, you've seen it. Uh, you know, not too bad. CPU package on the motherboard showing 73 Celsius. So again, it's pretty close to what we've been seeing. VRM 54 PCH. Yeah, so it's not really that hot. Um, it's kind of all the settings. Yeah. So you're able to see it. It doesn't really. It doesn't really. Uh, you know, get as hot for me. And I can run this again with nothing open. Just get an idea of what I'd get. And I haven't touched any other settings. This is just exactly the way you're seeing it. Again, I don't know if the rebar, rebar is going to have any, you know, good or bad effects on the system currently. But, I mean, I'm running Cinebench and I'm not going to blue screen. So, I'd say so far so good. All right. So, now I got a 67.26. So, it seems like 67 is like my average. So, it's decent. Uh, single, that takes too long to run. But, I think it's like five something. Five or six something, yeah. It was a BIOS update. Again, this is on the 10900K, on the Asus ROG Maximus 12 Hero Wi-Fi motherboard. I installed the latest version, 2004 beta version BIOS on the uh, on this motherboard, uh, mainly because it says an improved resized bar compatibility for the 3000 series graphics card. More or less, it's just extra frames per second. I don't know if it's gonna be five, 10, 15, 30. I, I really have no idea, but that was that. You guys were curious. Those are my exact settings. If you're also curious, there's my tower right there. Temperature is nice, ice cold. Uh, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, again, really easy. Uh, you do this enough, you save it. Like I said, you record it with your phone. It makes it really easy to, to, to remember what your settings are. And, you know, you might be able to throw that video or something or pictures up to, like, uh, Google Drive or Dropbox or something just to save it. Uh, but, uh, yeah, another good option, too, is for a thumb drive, get you a thumb drive. You always want to get a thumb drive and save, save a BIOS version on this. In case you really get screwed, you always have a backup. So that's a good option right there. Uh, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. Again, uh, this is just a, a BIOS update video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you guys want to see anything else, just go ahead and drop it down in the comment section down below. If you guys have any suggestions for my setup, any new items I should get, what I should go over, what you want to know more about, 
what you think I should cover, go ahead and drop it down in the comment section. I'm always looking for suggestions, always looking to improve. Got my Discord name down below as well. If you want to go ahead and uh, ask me any questions, I got my Discord down here. Uh, go ahead and add me on Discord. Hit me up. Let me know what you guys think. If you have any questions about your build, need some help with your overclock, let me know in the comment section. Let me know on Discord as well. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I will see you on the next video. Go ahead and subscribe. Hit that like button.